Hey guys, welcome back to Carding with Chris. Today's video is going to be the final for the Fall 2 race. So the pre-final for this, uh, this weekend is in a different video. I'll link it up in the description and I'll show it up here in the top. Um, so that race we finished ninth, and so that's where you start in the final. So wherever you start in the pre-final, that's where you start in the final. And um, you don't win anything for, or you get points for the pre-final, but you don't get like a medal or a trophy. Um, the guy who wins the final gets that trophy or medal. So um, some people, if they're in second, they'll slow down at the end and let someone in front of them finish second and they'll finish third. The reason is because uh, the guy in first or the inside line going to turn one is so much faster than the outside that people just prefer that. You can get such an advantage coming off of that. And actually in this race, the guy in first, his brake pedal fell off and you could see him in the field over here. You had a bad day. You did. And so that caused a lot of shuffling going on right here because every, cause the guy in second moved over to first and now everyone's moving around and they want to be on the inside. So you can see this guy right here, number 305, he's like, no, I want to be on the inside. And number 622, he has to go over to the right and he's like, oh, okay, I guess I'll be on the outside. And all this shuffling caused a bunch of confusion. We line up side by side. Um, we're hoping for a good start. We're right on the bumper, give it gas, and everyone raises their hand, says false start. So. We do another warm-up lap, I'll skip, and then I'll show you um, us gridding up again. So we grid up again, and then this is how you get a good start. What you wanna do is get on the guy in front of you's bumper so no one can get in that gap. So there's just zero gap. And so this is what I tried to do. I was right on his bumper. I got the camera facing me so you can see the people around me. He pulled a bit of a gap coming out of turn one which left it open with a couple people. We did pass one person, so that's what the inside gave me. But going into turn three, I was stuck on the outside. I got passed by two other people. So that was a real downfall. Um, but yeah, we, we went down a position, a couple positions, and then we get passed going through turn seven here by this guy. So we're, we dropped down two positions to 10th. Not a brilliant start, I mean, I guess we could have been wiped out at the start. That would have been worse. Um, so not good, but not the worst. Um, so yeah, we're just going to try and make the best out of this. The guy in front, he was really quick. He was the guy um, in the pre-final that was just, I don't know, he just didn't have the pace. I, again, I think it was his bumper was falling off, but he's going to make his way up. Um, the two people in front of the guy in front of us those are going to be our main rivals throughout this final race. Um, they were doing about the same lap times as me. Um, I, was, I was faster through the corners, they were faster through the straights. So through the straights, um, I just had no acceleration. And that was because during or before the final, I decided to change the gearing to get um, more top speed. But that um, made me have less acceleration. And um, you can't reach your top speed if you can't accelerate there. So I was really struggling coming out of the corners to get to a good top speed. So maybe next race I'll go up um, half a tooth or just go up a full tooth um, uh, in the sprocket. We'll see, depending on what the conditions are, I guess. Um, so we are catching up to this guy in front of us. Um, his name is Colton Underhill. And the guy in blue ahead of him, his name is Colin Underhill. And they are twins. And um, they, um, and, uh, they like to race each other a lot. Um, they, they're always passing each other. They, they sometimes work together, but every single time I've raced with them, they really just pass each other a bunch. So that's going to be the only way we can catch up with them if they start battling a bunch. But um, going through eight and nine here, we can see how much faster I am through the corners. 
See, I just caught up to him really quickly. But you can see his acceleration. He just accelerates out of the corner a lot faster than me. So that's one of the downfalls that I have. So coming out of lap five, we're still in um, P10, but um, there is a shot at P8 here because his brother is right in front of him and then, you know, just one good, if they wipe each other out, then we got P8 because we have the pace. It's just, they're just really good at racing and blocking and stuff like that. So coming through these corners, I try and get as close as I can, hit his bumper, and then I lose the back end. And I lost all that momentum. And you can see them just pulling away. So that really just ruined you know, that lap. So I still gotta try and gain on them again. Um, going through um, turn three, you can see there's a back marker ahead of us going through the chicane right now. I try to get as close as possible to them because you don't want a back marker in between you and the guy in front of you. But I tried to go for a gap, it wasn't there, and I hit him. Boy! <laughs> and um, I know who that is, that's Franco. Um, he, he's a really good driver. I, he must have been spun out or something because he was all the way back here. So sorry, Franco. It, there was a gap there that just, it just wasn't there actually. It was all my fault, so I'm sorry. But now you can see the gap in front of me has just increased so much. So we're gonna try as hard as possible to try and get in that gap, or try and reduce the gap. So hopefully they'll start battling each other like I've seen them do before. But right now it's looking like they're working together. They're trying to pull away from me because they, they want to battle with themselves. They don't want to have a third person uh, battling with them. So we're going to try and do some really fast laps to try and catch up with them. So I'm going to walk you through um, what a good lap is for me. So full throttle through one, get as close as you can to the apex, not all the way on the apex. Tiny lift going through two, then full throttle. Again, as close as you want to the apex, but not on the apex. Turn three. Again, as close to the apex, but not all the way on the apex. The reason you do that is because sometimes the apex can unsettle the cart and um, it'll just, you'll lose momentum and then you'll go really um, slowly. So um, on the edge of the rumble strips, lift and then give it gas again, full throttle through there. I think that I gained more through that corner because most people do a tiny little break and then gas whereas I just lift and then gas. Um, I mean, that, that just works best for me. Um, some people, it works best for them. I guess it depends all on your driving style and how your cart's set up. So um, going through the chicane, again, full throttle. Um, and it looks like we're not gaining, but then um, they uh, start battling and one of them goes for the move and it didn't work out for him. And he is, uh, or they both just slow down a bunch and now we are right behind them. And the one in front of me is Colton and we're gonna try and get within his, uh, within his slipstream. As he dips a wheel, we're able to pass him. Thanks for the position, now we're in P9 and we're gonna try and um, make sure he doesn't pass me back. Um, so I give him the wave saying, hey, let's work together, let's go catch up with your brother Colin. But he doesn't want to, he wants to try and pass me. He goes for the dive bomb, I get the cut back on him, and, and then he uh, slides in behind me. Coming out of these last couple of corners, I bang the back of my helmet, I say, push me, let's go catch up with your brother. And, um, because his brother pulled away a good chunk of speed, or not a good chunk of speed, a good chunk of distance, and we gotta catch up with him or else we'll never be able to pass him. So uh, at this point, he agrees. He says, yeah, let's go catch up with him. So coming through these corners, um, my GoPro, the one facing me, was slowly sliding down, but um, Colton is pushing me through this corner and we are able to catch up. So. His brother Colin right there, he's getting ever so closer to us. 
So we are, we are gaining on him. Um, one thing that'll help us is um, if we just start bump drafting. There was no bump drafting in qualifying, but there was bump drafting during the race. So going through turn one, we have caught up to him, and now we are within slipstream distance of him. Now, unfortunately, I am the guy in second, so, um, you know, if uh, uh, Colton behind me wants to pass me, he'll pass me, and then he'll slide in right behind Colin. But um, he, he wasn't doing that. He wants to get as close as he can. Um, there's a back marker right here. Try and make sure the back marker doesn't split us. He doesn't. We get around him pretty good, and we're right on Colin's uh, bumper. Um, so what Colton behind me wants to do is he wants to follow me so when I pass um, Colin. Because if he follows me, then we both gain the position and Colin ends up in the back. At least that's what I want. Um, so going through turn, or the chicane right here. Again, he's got better acceleration. Uh, sorry about the GoPro. Um, Colin goes defensive, doesn't do it. Colton is right beside me. He gets the lunge, and I try to get the switch back, and I can't quite make it. So it's a good move by Colton. He's able to um, capitalize on a good slipstream, and now he's on his brother's bumper. So we want to get on top of um, Colton's bumper to um, try and uh, gain some positions. Um, so when you're in, uh, you know, not, we're not in third place, but when you're in a battle of three people um, and you're the guy in third, um, you want to be on the bumper of the guy in second because the guy in second is either going to attack the guy in front of him or he's going to defend you. Um, if I am driving like I'm not going to attack, then he's going to attack because he knows there's no point in defending. So if we get right on his bumper, whenever he makes a move, we're, we're there to follow him and we gain a position as well, and the guy in front loses two positions. And then after that, once we pass him, we, um, we try and pass Colton again. At least that's the theory. So we're right on his bumper. We're going to attempt to do it right here. Get right on his bumper, follow him going through this corner up here. He goes for the move, and then he backs off. I go over in this area. <laughs> And this area is just, there. no one drives over there, so there's no rubber over there. Um, the track's not very warm over there. And as we watch, came alongside me and hit me. He tested me. we watch the two brothers wipe each other out, and we are able to gain um, ninth position. So we are capitalizing on this. This is the last lap, so everyone's got to make the the last move to try and gain a position. But um, because of turn seven incident, where we were on the part where there's zero grip, um, there's just no chance we're able to pass this guy because he's so far ahead. So it's looking like we're gonna get ninth here. We are gonna try though, because people do make mistakes coming out of this corner and dip a wheel. And look, I'm just doing all I can to really get some speed, but wasn't enough and we ended up in ninth. At least that's what I thought. So um, when we were uh, coming out of the pits, I heard the announcer, he said um, Chris Hoyle's um, car 240 got ninth. But if we look here on the website, the official website, it said that Colin got 10th. So for pushing his brother off, he got a two place penalty. So Colin, if you're watching, was it really worth it? Uh, so this is all I got for you guys. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe. If you have any opinions, questions, or suggestions, please comment below. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.